Hello guys. Back on my field. My third outing. Let's go metal detecting. Gotta love the view on a nice sunny day. That bank there goes quite steep down. Yeah, I haven't found an awful lot here yet. The grass is quite long and in lots, most of the places. Um, this is the entrance. Got I got to jump over this wire here because it's it is electrified. <laughs> I'm going to start off here, in the entrance. It's been used as an entrance for many years. And I'm just going to see where I get to. Right, I'll get set up and I'll uh, see you in a minute. Right, so I'm using a Simplex Plus, not a macro, and the not a macro headphones are supplied by Unearthed UK. Um, yeah, really cool these. Best buy I ever had. Um, right, so I'm in field one mode. I've set it uh, one notch down from the top, and I've done my ground balancing. There's a lot of chitter chatter still even after the ground balance, so I changed channel to channel 1 and let's just go for it, right, let's go search this little area here first and see what we can find, if anything I've got a signal here jumping around all over the place 40s, mid 40s right by the gate, so just clear these nettles out of the way and I'll uh, dig it up right, first signal big bit of lead that's not a problem, because I collect lead. It's good for the melting pot. <clears throat> Alright, right next to Landowner's tractor. Something here. It came back as a 96 uh, piece of barbed wire. I didn't do the, uh, the bouncing, it would have come up as a 4, I reckon. Oh well. Live and learn. Right, even through the thick grass, I got to a signal. It started off as a 96, bounced the coil, it went to a 72. So, it's up here somewhere. Should have brought my trowel with me, should I? <laughs> oh well. sec all right we're getting closer whatever it is big I don't think it's something amazing no it's a big piece of iron but yeah oh horseshoe uh, now you're not being metal detecting unless you find a horseshoe <laughs> maybe that's good luck Right then, right, this one uh, registered at 86, and it looks like, I've just lift, pulled the clod over, looks like there's, I've just seen it fall in, there's the imprint, I found my first coin on this permission, there it is, or is it a button, no, it looks like a coin, hmm, let me get the brush on that and I'll uh, get right back to you. Right, I don't have my brush, but I have my water. And I don't have internet, so I can't check the dates. However, 
I believe that was an 1891 or a 3. I'll check it when I get home. Farthing. How about that? How awesome is that? Just make out Britannia sitting down there. That is freaking awesome. I'm happy with that. Definitely happy with that. Does look like a six, doesn't it? But no, it can't be. <laughs> Let's say I will check it out proper when I get home, but that is awesome. Right, I had a 76, 79. That's where I found that farthing, potential farthing. Just lifted this over. Right next to it, so let's see what it is. Oh. Hey. <laughs> Where the hell's that gone? And there we have it, folks. A phantom signal. Oh, that's weird. Okay. Alright, this one read as a 86 and I tapped it and it went down to 72. So. What could it be? What the hell's that? There's a big hole there, like not the one I've dug. Oh, that's creepy. Oh, it's out. Oh, then. What the hell is that? It's lead. That is unusual. Hmm. I've got no internet, so I've got to wait till I get home before I can uh, do any research. That's lead, and. It looks pretty old, sorry about the uh, shaking of the camera there. I think there's a hole right there. Oh, let me just put it down. Stay. Let's find a stick or something. Yeah, there's a, there's a hole right there. It goes all the way through. Yeah, that looks, that looks old. It's got like a jagged bit at the bottom. Hmm, interesting. Very interesting. Okay. I'll get back to you on that one. Later on. Right, just in front of that pile of dry grass is where I found the farthing. A bit further up was that lead thing. And I've just been circling this area. And I got another target. This one was a 68 and I bounced it and it stayed about 65. Okay, let's put you down. Sorry, shaking you about a bit. this. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Old iron sort of nail thing. Oh, 
This is tough to dig this one. This one was a 96 and I pumped this coil up and down it stayed 96. It's right there. It still could be iron though so don't, don't get too excited. Whew. When I got that farthing, that was quite deep. So hopefully it would be another coin. Mm, probably not, no my luck. What's this? Something sharp here. Ow. Ow, what's that? I can see something jagged. Yes, I think it's just iron. Mm. Have to extend the hole. <laughs> Whew. We're out. We're out almost. Uh, yeah. <laughs> God. A dirty great square now. <laughs> right. Well, I've been zigzagging like this all the way down. Quite a bit of iron buried there. But in and amongst the iron is this. See it there? Just underneath the clod. Flipped it over. Bosh. Boom. I thought it was a coin. <laughs> hey, it's a button. I like buttons, buttons are cool. It shows to me that someone was here a long time ago because that's an old button, old flat button. Happy days, happy were days. Right, on to the next. Right then folks, right then. I'm gonna leave it there for the day. Found a few interesting thingamajigs. I'll put a picture on in a sec, but thank you for joining me, I'm hoping to come back next Sunday and we'll do another search, more thorough search of this top bit of the field and hopefully find some more goodies. Um, hoping to get out on the beach uh, on Tuesday and Wednesday, so stay tuned for that. Don't forget my giveaway on Monday night, which is live, and good luck to you all for that. And thank you for watching and I'll see you later. Right. I, just before I do go, I've just come. I've been home for a while now, but I've been looking at this coin I found. It is a farthing, uh, but I've, I've used a composite cleaning pencil, and under different shades of light, I can see a date. The date is 1694. It's very worn, and I can just about make out two heads facing right on top of each other. That is a William and Mary, one farthing, 1694. That's about 300 years old. That is extra mega cool. Happy with that.